Analysis from the National Transportation Safety Board shows that statistically, most airline accidents have survival rates of over 80%. Constant improvements in safety and aircraft technology plays a massive role, but sometimes luck has a part too. Amelia, Virginia. This aircraft is being flown by no ordinary pilot. In fact, this is no pilot. The man in this plane has never flown before in his life. Dude, this dude's gonna f Oh my God, he's gonna stall and die. Come on, buddy. Get it together. <laughs> After persuading the airport manager to let him taxi his new plane down the runway, he soon finds himself airborne with zero hours flight time. So this poor guy, who thought he was going to have a drive along the runway, now realises he's flying an aeroplane and wonders what to do about it. There you go, there you go. He may have managed somehow to get it off the ground, but it's becoming clear that he has absolutely no idea how to land it. Miraculously, this first-time flyer manages to get down with his new and now battered plane, and more importantly himself, in one piece. Wow, he is lucky to be alive. But how did this total novice manage to get airborne? Really, it's very simple. To make an airplane fly, you apply some thrust with the engine while he was taxiing. You apply a little bit more thrust and the airplane starts to accelerate. If it gets to beyond the point which is called V1, this is the point at which the airplane doesn't have enough space to stop before it reaches the end of the runway, then you might think, well, what, what do I do? And if you pull the nose up by pulling the, the yoke backwards, the airplane will then lift the nose. And before you know where you are, this machine that's designed to be a bird will start flying. So we, we've got a situation here, this person who's found he's now a pilot rather than a driver uh, is in the air. Come on, buddy. Get it together. Now, the yoke that he's holding is a little bit like a steering wheel. If you turn it to the left, you actually actuate the ailerons at the end of the wings um, so that they will make the aircraft bank a little bit and that makes the aircraft turn. <laughs> So you can drive it like a car, you can steer the steering wheel and make it go around so you can see the runway beneath him and realise that he can actually go back. The big issue is, how is he going to make it go down safely and stop on the runway? To land a light aircraft, the pilot should stabilise the plane with the help of the control wheel before using it to line up the plane with the airstrip. Then, when the plane is just off the ground, the throttle is pushed in and the control wheel is pushed forward, which allows the plane to gently touch down, back wheels first. As we're approaching, we should be putting our flaps out to make this flying machine have a slow speed aircraft that will still have enough lift to cruise down that final approach. This guy is lucky to get the airplane back on the ground. But, uh, as they say in all the best movies, don't do this at home, folks. Wow, he is lucky to be alive. 